What do you see when you close your eyes? What's the vision that only you have that comes out of your soul about what you're gonna do with your life? What you're gonna do today? Unless you can see it, you won't be able to believe it. It's gotta become a vision that goes right from your heart. And this vision story, I hope, is a story you'll never forget. It's a true story that happened up in upstate New York, and a little boy by the name of Henry Peterson, at the age of 12, already had found his passion. It was football. Henry would run home every day after school, and his dad would meet him in the backyard, and that dad of his, they would work together for a good two, three hours, but his dad would always paint pictures. Henry, you there, third and two, the biggest play of the game, the score is 7-0. He'd paint pictures, he'd create an image, and Henry would run for that first down. And then his dad would say, the screams tied with five minutes to go. Henry Peterson kicks the field goal. And they would do this day after day. Well, Henry Peterson got a little bit older. And of course, in every hero story, there has to be an obstacle. And of course, Henry Peterson is the smallest kid in his class. Really not cut out for the game of football, but he loves the game, goes out for his high school team and becomes a scout team player. But you know what? Every single game that Henry was on, every game that team played, his dad would be up in the stands right here. And at the end of every single game, Henry would run off that field and always go. And you know what his dad would do? That was their connection, their whistle. Henry's dad was there every single game, and they'd go home that night and visualize the game and talk about it. Well, Henry Peterson graduated from high school and went on to play at Georgetown University. Can you believe it? That little kid went out for the team and made it, and Coach Molina picked him, and Henry again was a scout team player. He held the bags every day. He was the first one to practice, and you know what happened? Every single game that team played, his dad was up in those stands there to support Henry. Well, Henry never got in a game, but he was really well respected and admired by every player until the final game of his senior year. Georgetown is playing Fordham for the league championship and it's a Thursday afternoon and in the locker room is a phone call. Yes, ma'am. Yes, who is this? No. No, 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 we can't get, no, we cannot interrupt. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry, I will. Coach, you gotta send Henry in here. We got a problem. Henry ran off the field, came off the field, picked up the phone. Mom? And then Henry went to his knees. His head down. Henry's dad had died of a heart attack that morning. His mom told him to come home right now on the train. He's gonna have to bury his dad this weekend. Henry dropped the phone, shuffled out to his teammates, and Coach Molina took Henry, gave him a big hug. Henry's job was to do the hardest thing any boy could have to do. Well, before he left, Molina whispered in his ear something, and Henry went like this. Well. On Saturday, that team decided they were going to win that game for Henry and his dad. They were going to do it for them. Henry had given his life for that club, and they were going to beat Fordham for Henry. Well, you want to know what happened? Right before that game, a half hour before, Coach Molina's in his office scripting the plays when all of a sudden, there's a knock on the door. And you want to know who walked through that door? Henry Peterson. Molina said, son, what are you doing here? Henry looked at coach and said, sir, remember when I left on Thursday, you told me you'd do anything for me? Yes, I do. I need to start in this game today. Henry, I, I love you like a son, but this is the league championship and you've never played a college game, but son. And then Molina felt it in his heart. He looked at Henry and said, go get dressed. 
He was gonna play Henry for three plays, give him his dream come true, give him his wish, and then go with Lionel Adams, their All-American halfback. Well, you wanna know, Fordham kicked off that day. Georgetown took the ball in the 21. And out at right halfback was Henry Peterson. First play, Henry's job was just to clean off that edge, hit that corner and just take him down, try to corral him if he could, and give that halfback a chance to run. Blue 17, blue 17, said hut, 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 bang. Quarterback reverse pivoted, gave that ball, and you know what Henry did? He hit that edge, he drove that defensive end right on his back. Molina was like, wow, did you see that block, fellas? Second play, Henry's job, lead through the C-gap, try to take out the linebacker, do the best he could. Henry went through that hole, not only took out that near side linebacker, but then pancaked the backside linebacker. Molina, again, was like, holy mackerel. Well, three plays was Henry's job. This was his last play. Molina looked out, his heart started to pump, but he said, Jerry, Give Henry one chance. Let him run one. They got in the huddle. Henry, your last play. 47 sweep. Give it your best, Henry. It was third and two. The chance of Henry getting that first were few and far between. The kid was 5'4", 123. He had never run the ball. Red, 17, set, hut, hut, hut. Reverse pivot, toss the ball to Henry. Henry took the ball. And wouldn't you know it, that rover back was on a C-gap stunt. Hit Henry right in the chest. Henry took his forearm and went boom, and knocked the kid right to the ground. Henry ran up the field three yards and then trampled that safety. Then he was horse collared by the defensive end. Henry ran out of the horse collar and ran up 47 yards for a first down. Molina looked out, put his hands to his head, and said, stay in! And that's what he did. Henry Peterson stayed in that day on a true story and ran 237 yards, scored six touchdowns, and led Georgetown to a league championship. After the game, Henry was mobbed, carried off by his teammates. The reporters ran up and said, son, where have you been? What happened? Henry just smiled and gazed up. Well, all of a sudden, Henry's coach, Lou, pulled him into his locker room and said, son, I'm so sorry that I never played you, but what happened? I've never seen you run like this. I've never seen you, you were amazing. He said, coach, it wasn't you, it was me. Coach, you know my dad was at every single game I ever played and practiced with me every day. He was my best friend, my best coach, and the man I loved the most. Something you didn't know about my dad, Coach. He was blind and he never saw me play. This is the first game he ever saw me and I want to show him how much I love him. Well. Visions are something special. Whatever you see up here and believe goes into your heart and can change your perspective today. See yourself at your best self. Believe in yourself and see that goal or vision you have for yourself today. And then smile when the adversity hits and don't let anything steal your vision. Have a great day today, so show up. Be brave, be kind, smile, and don't let anything steal your peace. Have a great day.